Hick uh, coming in with the ball moving around a little bit. There's a bit of bounce out there. Oh, that's got to be pretty close. Empire Aldridge uh, isn't over keen on giving LBWs. Kepler Vessels uh, really had a heart attack there at first slip. He thought he had the third one. There's Kepler Vessels shaking his head. He can't believe it. And it saw him might have just been going down leg side there, but it's caught him right on the crease. It's a very, very, very close decision there. Edged and taken by Kepler Vessels, but no ball is called. So he's having a charmed life, Graham Hick. And Eric Pringle will want to shoot himself here. Yeah, you, yeah he's got uh, Graham Hick in trouble once again. He just gets the ball to leave him, and great delivery straight to Kepler Vessels, but the umpire's called no ball. Change now at the uh, Randwick end. It's going to be Richard Snell. It's nicely played. Into the uh, pitch and bounced straight over Jonty Rhodes' head. Oh, and that's a dangerous slide from Hansi Cronier. Slid over the top of the ball and then whacked into the gutter. There's a little cement gutter there. It's not a good idea to go crunching into that. Yes, the ball is clipped away well heading for four and Hansi Cronier comes running around here and tries to stop it football style and goes straight into that board really hard and you see rugby players doing that they're mad enough to do it I never realized cricketers would be so stupid same shot same result 50 up for England in the 11th over. Richard Snell just giving him a bit of whip. We saw how effective the first one was. And yeah, once again, that's where you cannot bowl to Graham Hick. He clips it. That's a very good shot. Stewart had already played. A magnificent stroke of uh, McNeil. That's what happens in the big time, and that's a magnificent shot. Played away beautifully off his toes. Hick flicking that one to back with square leg. Right into the gap for four. This McMillan who's been carrying that foot injury most of the week, where his Achilles has been fairly swollen. Has been a little bit wayward here. Bowls at full toss just outside the leg stump, and Hick just latches onto that and clips it away for four. But Vessels is faced with a little bit of a problem here in that he might have to get McMillan bowled through all his 10 overs so that his injury doesn't come back. That's his 50. A little fumble there. Graham Hick. Takes a big sigh there, and out of their seats go the Englishmen. The Union Jacks are aloft. There you see some of the English supporters there painted up. Must be uh, a little bit cold in those outfits. He's got that way square. That'll be four. Good shot. Not a very good delivery, mind you. Cannot afford to bowl short. Especially on a wicket like this one, Hick there helping that one away down to square leg. This Graham Hick here is in fine form. You can't afford to drop it short like that. And Adrian Caper is a little bit wayward and he capitalizes on this one. Drags it down and there it goes. Four runs. For him to do well on this tour. That's beautifully hit. That was four from the time it left the bat. There's a third man. He had absolutely no chance of getting around for it. Graham Hick showing the form, which has uh, gained him the reputation. Hasn't quite lived up to it in his international career so far. But this is the top innings after a shaky start. There are some wonderful young cricketers around uh, on the world scene at the moment. And Graham Hick is one of them. It's Tony points out he hasn't quite lived up to his potential 
games his record uh, playing largely in county cricket when trying to qualify for England but there is that lovely touch of class about his play and no better example than that stroke away through extra cover we saw some shots yesterday from the young Pakistani Enzamam al Haq over in uh, Auckland at Eden Park but none were better than that that certainly has been the shot and inside that circle moving in with Bola can't do much about that just about the perfect one day shot As Richard says you just can't do anything about it keep a dive despairingly arms went up in the air and shoulders drooped and the umpire's arm went out to signal four so four more to Hick he's got 83 now top innings by him and he's approaching his highest score in one day internationals but not anymore John D. Rhodes in the way and anything close to him is going to be hauled down as he pulled that one down two-handed and Graham Hick goes for 83 tremendous innings by him and I suppose Australians even though they're not involved in this conflict will point to the fact that the score is 187 isn't he a great fielder he's done some wonderful things including that run out of Imzimam up in Brisbane that was a super catch, kick out for 83, a standing ovation for the...